Okay, so a little bit about Sister Care's mission is about um, freeing families from fear. We are a domestic violence service agency helping survivors escape intimate partner violence. The services that we offer, it's free and it's confidential. We offer emergency shelter. We offer counseling services as an individual and actually group support. We offer court advocacy and community outreach advocates helping those that aren't in our shelter that they can still obtain the services that they need. Domestic violence is really about somebody valuing power and control over someone. And sometimes those signs are, are hidden, but you know, the most predominant is that physical abuse, those things that happen between intimate partners, where there's pushing and shoving and even, you know, physical bruising and, and breaking of bones. But it also, domestic violence is also about emotional and mental abuse. And that could be just something that's not quite evident from somebody that might be a neighbor or a teacher or someone in your church may see. But it's an opportunity for that perpetrator, for that assailant to take complete control over someone and make them feel less than a human being. Um, always downplaying, you know, them. Nothing's ever good enough. And honestly, it also can involve sexual assault as well within an intimate partner relationship. So those warning signs are not as clear, I think, that people would want to know. But when you are listening to a friend or a neighbor and they don't seem as open, it's an opportunity just to um, make sure that you listen to them and make sure that you offer support. So it's really important for our community to know that Sister Care is here for you know women and their children, um, anybody experiencing intimate partner violence um, because it, it's difficult to identify, but we have to support those survivors. If somebody is you know thinking that this person might be suffering from this type mm -hmm. of violence within their home, is the best thing to do is to listen to them and then also to be educated on what sister care is. And that might just be acknowledging that they know about this agency, offering you know our service line. Our service line is a 24 hour service line. So anybody can call at any time of day and just ask for help. There is a trained advocate on the other end who will listen and ask those questions to make sure that they create a safety plan for that person um, and support them as to how they want to gain our services. Okay. Sister care is kind of the hub spot. Okay. So we would, you know, if somebody is in need of something and um, we ask what that need is, we will get them connected. Whether it's, you know, gaining access to another faith-based organization that they want to join, child care facilities, um, education for themselves or their children. We are kind of that resource hub to really just no individual is a cookie cutter mm -hmm. and we really take our time with those that call us to make sure that first they're safe second we're really understanding what they are needing and we supply it and the good thing is is that sister care never leaves anyone so a person who's a survivor may not be ready to go into counseling at that time um, but the information is shared to them and when they do call back maybe three weeks later, three months later, our door never shuts. So it's an opportunity for them to come in, see what they need, and we make sure that they get connected. Domestic violence is a community issue. It knows no boundaries, it affects everyone. And so for people to be involved, it's really important um, because it shows that they value their community. So how can somebody get involved? Well, we do offer volunteer opportunities, and even though there's COVID and we're really careful with our social distancing, we do have somebody that, you know, is coordinating those volunteers, um, making sure that they're getting connected. But in addition to that, Sister Care could always utilize, you know, some financial assistance because that helps move people through that safety plan and making sure they're focused on their families. 
So for example, Thanksgiving is coming up and the Christmas holiday is coming up and we're asking for gift cards at this time just due to the fact that we're trying to minimize everybody's exposure to that. And gift cards is an opportunity, whether it's from Walmart or gas cards, um, an opportunity for people to kind of purchase the items they need for their family and get back to you know whether it's Christmas shopping or something like that but we will definitely take a financial assistance um, we definitely have a wish list on our sister care um, website so if anybody wanted to you know maybe donate some diapers or in reference to cleaning supplies um, you know actual new linens and towels for someone's home is always so helpful they can go on that um, website and check out the wish list